I was so awkward. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Like I always say, it's been a hot minute since I filmed. I'm so sorry, I'm literally the worst. But I had a great idea. I I have to kind of keep this quick because I lost the charger for this camera, so I'm just running on this battery right now, and when it dies, it dies. So hopefully I'm able to finish this story. So getting into the video, I'm gonna do a story time. Yay! <laughs> so I had a super rowdy high school not even high school, just like younger years. I had a lot of fun. Okay, so I don't even know where to begin. I didn't even like plan this out. I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm just gonna like talk. So we'll see where this goes. But basically, okay, when I was younger, my parents and my sister, they all decided to leave. I think they were going to Victoria or something and I don't know why, but they left the house and they left me home alone. So I had the house to myself. I think my older brother and my older sister were there as well, but I think they were like working or something. I don't know, they just weren't really home. So I kind of had the house to myself. Me being me, I was like, ha ha ha, I'm gonna throw a party. <laughs> so I made this tweet and I don't have it anymore. I deleted it, but it was something like, oh, parents are gone for the weekend. like. Should I throw a party at my house? And it was a complete joke. But then I think one day I was just sitting there and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna do it. So I had like a good angel and a bad angel and it was like, the good one was like, Serena, do not do this. The bad one was like, screw everything, throw this party. So, you know, knowing me, good angel by, threw the party. So I sent out this tweet, sent out my address. Um, I lived in the middle of nowhere, so I just didn't think that anyone would actually show up. Um, just because it was pretty far away from everything. So I think what happened is I had a couple friends come over after school, I think. And basically we just started like removing stuff, like any expensive lamps, carpets. We just moved all the stuff. We started barricading the upstairs, the downstairs, just so everyone would stay on the main floor. I had a pretty big house where I used to live. So it was a lot of work, just trying to like barricade everything. We had like tape, we had to block off my parents' room, just all the stuff, there was so much to it. And so we did all that. And then I think around seven o'clock, I like got this like knock on my door. And I think before this, me and my friends were kind of like, hey, um, only people who like we know are gonna come in. And I was like, hey, whatever, that's fine. First knock that comes on the door was at seven o'clock. It was these four people that I literally don't talk to at all. They went to my school, but like did not talk to them. And I just didn't know what to do. So I just invited them in. I was like, oh, like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so yeah, they came in and then all of a sudden, just people kind of just started to flow in. So I think there was like 10 people, then 20 people, then 30 people. So all these people just start showing up and like it kind of started to calm down a bit, but it was like, there was a lot of people. And I was excited that I finally threw a party at my house. So I think I had a Mickey of vodka and I drank quite a bit of that, but I think I was just very concerned with my house and just everything that was going on. I was pretty stressed, but I also wanted to have fun. So I'm like, chugging this Mickey of vodka, but then I think I put it down somewhere and I don't know what happened to it. It like, someone must have stole it. And one of my friends, um, he like heard me complaining about that. So he left and he went and bought me a new one. He bought me a new one. So ha. by the time he got back, there must have been 60 people at my house, which doesn't sound like a lot, but like it was a lot. And so there's about 60 people at my house. I get this new Mickey of vodka. I'm stoked, like I'm so stoked. Somebody bought me a Mickey of vodka, like yes, I'm gonna go hard. I just start chugging this thing. So <laughs> I grab my phone, turn on the music. I turn on this music so loud. Like the bass is thumping, the music is just so loud. And I'm pretty sure my brother and my sister came home and they were like, you need to turn down this music right now. Like they just like didn't really realize that, like I think they just came in and they were like, holy crap, like what is going on here? Um, they were really good about it though. As far as I know, I was also very intoxicated so I'm not too sure, but um, yeah. 
So I got pretty drunk um, at our kitchen table. People started to play beer pong, but we had this chandelier and it hung really low. And so a couple of us, we just grabbed the chandelier and we like hooked it, we like held it up even higher. We just hooked it way higher. So it was super, super high up now. So people could actually like, play beer pong. Uh, people were outside, people were on the deck. All of a sudden, I swear to God, there was like a hundred people plus. Like, I don't, I can't even, I don't know how many people were there, but there was a lot of people there. And, um, so yeah, I'm partying, I'm having a great time. Like, life is good, I'm having a fantastic time. Um, I think the guy, yeah, the guy that I liked at the time showed up and I was just super stoked and it was just like an overall, like, it was a great time. Like, I was having so much fun. My brother and sister, on the other hand, were not having very much fun because people were kind of going a little bit crazy. Uh, there was like beer bongs, there was just, there was just everything. People were smoking pot downstairs, there was beer cans everywhere. And it just started to get out of control. There was a ton of people out, like, up the driveway, like, like hundreds. There was like, okay, not hundreds of people outside, but like, there was probably a hundred people in the house. Just tons of people trying to get into this party at this point, though. So there's, I had this long driveway and people are just like, all standing along this driveway, up on my street. There's just tons of cars everywhere, just madness. And so, neighbors, haha, <laughs> neighbors. So I guess when my parents left, they told the neighbors to keep an eye on the house. And if I threw a party or anything, to let them know. So. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the neighbors let my parents, they probably called my parents or something and just told them like, there's a ton of people at your house right now. And I think also what happened is people were knocking on all my neighbors' doors. Like, are you joking? If somebody throws a party, you don't go around the street knocking on people's doors, waking everyone up. So that happened. Heard about that the next day. Yeah, so it was a great time. I was having so much fun, dancing, loud music. And then the neighbors called my parents. All of a sudden, I think I got a phone call and I think, I don't know who answered the phone. <laughs> It was someone, I don't know if it was one of my friends or something, but uh, they were like, we need to talk to Serena right now. <laughs> now keep in mind, I am like in another world. Like my mind is just, I'm just on another planet right now. So I answered this phone and apparently when I was on the phone, I was like, oh, look, what did you expect? You were gonna be gone for the weekend. Of course I'm gonna throw a party. Like all this stuff, I don't remember any of this. This is just what my friends told me. Apparently I was just like, like of course I'm gonna throw a party. Like you're gone. Like all this crap. Like, oh my goodness. I keep saying like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, apparently I was just, did not care what they had to say on this phone and I was just saying whatever was on my mind. It's like I took a truth serum or something. So I don't know how that phone call ended, but my brother and sister basically had to shut down the party so they were ripping uh, beer cans from people's hands, the beer bongs, they were ripping them, throwing them, just yelling at everyone to just get out of the house. It was pretty hard to get everyone out of this house and once we did, there was still just tons of people on the street, on my driveway, just everywhere. I was like in a bed passed out, I don't even remember. It just, the alcohol, it was just flowing through me at this point and I was just very tired. So shout out to my brother and sister for doing that. Okay, so I had a couple friends sleep over. I honestly, like it's such a blur how the transition was, but I just remember going to bed. So I had quite a few people stay the night and I remember hearing about this. I don't actually remember it, but apparently I was in the bathroom and I, threw up a bit, but I threw up in a garbage can that had holes in it. So it must have been some sort of like paper, what was it? It was made out of like wood or something. So it just kind of, however it was like sewn together, I don't even know what it was, like a plastic, I don't freaking know. But yeah, whatever I threw up in, there was holes in it. I was throwing up in this garbage and apparently just, it was seeping right through and there was like a whole bunch of guys like trying to help me and like all my, yeah, all my friends were just trying to help me just be okay. <laughs> so I think I ended up, there was another girl puking in the toilet, so I had to like go into the bathtub and I was puking in the bathtub. I'm sorry, this story is so disgusting. But yeah, I was just like puking. There was throw up everywhere because it was going through the stupid garbage can. And then I'm pretty sure I ended up sleeping on the ground. I somehow got booted to the ground because I mean, fair enough, I was throwing up. So uh, I slept on the ground. And yeah, woke up the next morning, woke up the next morning, 
Man, oh man. Do you know that feeling when you just like, you wake up and you know that like, shit hit the fan. Like, you don't even know how to recover from this, you don't even know, you don't want to confront, like if you did something wrong like with your parents, like how, how do you confront your parents? Like, I just didn't even know what to do. I woke up and I was just like, I effed up, like, this isn't good. I um, woke up, my friends were still there and I'm pretty sure I just walked out onto the deck. I kind of remember this. I walked out onto the deck and I just like stood there, made a beautiful view of the lake. And I just stood there and I just stared out. <laughs> and I was like, God help me. I am literally gonna be shipped to another country because my parents are gonna disown me. <laughs> yeah, went downstairs, the house was pretty trashed. Like nothing got broken, I think, because we kind of took those like precautions and we got rid of any lamps, anything that could have gotten broken. We blocked off the upstairs, downstairs, all the stuff we had like planned for that, which was really, really good. I'm glad we did that. But still, there was just like, just stuff everywhere. Like the floors were all sticky. There was just crap everywhere. So I think, yeah, my friends kind of stayed for a bit. They helped me clean up. Um, I had to put all the rugs back and everything and I was feeling so fantastic doing this like oh my gosh It was a struggle that morning. I think my brother and sister had to go to work or something the next morning So it was just me home alone again at this point So I was just kind of making sure everything was tidy everything was good and then I don't remember I think my parents came home that like late afternoon or night ish or it was the next day I honestly can't remember but um <sighs> When they came home, <laughs> woo, they honestly, okay, they took it pretty well. Like, I'll give them that. They weren't as mad as I thought they were going to be. I think because when they came home, the house was absolutely spotless because I had the time to clean the house. So I just like, I cleaned everything. <laughs> like, it was spotless. When they came home, um, they handled it really, really well. And like I said, I think it's because the house was just so clean. I made sure that the rugs were all put back. Everything was vacuumed, wiped down. Nothing was broken, like the house was immaculate basically. So they couldn't really say much per se, like I just, I cleaned it really, really well. It's not like they came home to a house full of people. Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure, oh man, I'm pretty sure I got my phone taken away for uh, weeks. And at this time my phone was literally my life. So that sucked. Yeah, I think we just kind of like sat down and we just had a big talk and it was so embarrassing because my mom's parents were in town so my grandpa and my grandma were in town and i haven't seen them for years and like they haven't seen me in forever so it's like you want to make a good impression on your grandparents right like you've turned out so well <laughs> you've turned into such a beautiful child <laughs> and that's what they came home to was me throwing a party at my house and getting absolutely lit cheers to that so uh yeah, I think we just kind of sat down, talked about it, and I'm pretty sure I just kind of tried to play it off. Oh, you know, you know what I did? I tried to play it off like it wasn't as big as it actually was, and I think that's why they weren't as mad, because they never actually found out how big it actually was. So it was pretty big. But um, I think I kind of just, yeah, I tried to just play it off like there wasn't that many people there, which made them feel a little bit better. I just tried to say it was like close friends, got a little bit out of hand. I think people were just like calling people, like we tried to like not let people in, blah, 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 all this crap. Which kind of was the case, like I did not invite all those people, they just showed up. I was like, are you joking? And I was drunk, so like what am I gonna do, say no? I'm like, come in, like let's party. My dad kind of was walking around the house and he was just looking at things and there's little me just being like, oh, like it wasn't even that big, like, la la la. <laughs> And then my dad like looks at the kitchen table and he's like, he was just kind of like looking at the chandelier and he's like, why is that chandelier so high? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, it was not like that before. And I was like, yes it was. <laughs> and he was like, you moved that up to play beer pong, didn't you? And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm like trying to like cover, like just no, no, I'm just trying to like deny it, but he knew. This chandelier was just hiked up to the ceiling, and I'm pretty sure he ended up finding like downstairs we had like a games room, and there was like a whole bunch of boxes of like ping pong balls everywhere. So that happened. But like honestly, all in all, like didn't get in huge trouble, but like this was a massive party. Like it was, 
it was pretty wild. I wish I had some like videos from it or something. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't have like any like pictures or videos from it. I might try and look for some, but I doubt I'll be able to find any. But yeah, that's the story of how I threw a party at my house while my parents were gone and almost got disowned. I swear, on the phone, I think they were, they were just livid on the phone. I kind of remember that. Like, even though I was drunk, like, when they got home, they were okay, but on the phone, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, mad. Yeah, I just wanted to tell that little story. Thought it was kind of funny. I have lots of story. I have, like, actually, <laughs> I could do, like, a story time about my first time getting blackout drunk on raspberry vodka that was a story and a half i should honestly i think i might do a video on that because that that was wild that was a wild night got caught by my parents oh my goodness most embarrassing night of my life i honestly just didn't even want to go back i didn't want to see anyone after that so i might do a story time on that because i enjoy doing story times it's kind of nice you get to just like sit in bed drink some tea cozy up and tell stories so I don't mind doing these but yeah if you guys are still here still watching thanks for supporting my channel but anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you are still here I really really appreciate it um, give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram it's just my name I think that's what YouTubers say, right? I don't really know. But yeah, thank you for watching this if you're still here. I really appreciate it. I always love when you guys come up to me and tell me that you like my videos. It makes me feel good. Shout out you, Jess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go uh, finish getting ready for work. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.